the principles of creative lighting design. We have described the basic principles through different atmospheric themes, which, which are illustrated here by images. Natural, happy, calm, cozy, and imaginative. And we will look at light again for each of the three building blocks of lighting design and how they influence atmosphere. Let's first have a look at the light effect in relation to brightness, contrast, and saturation. We have mapped the themes in this scheme and it shows how we can make different light ambiences by just changing brightness, saturation, and the contribution of surrounded white light. The vertical axis indicates brightness levels, where the top is bright with a large contribution of the surrounded general lighting, and the bottom is dim light with little to none general lighting. And the horizontal axis indicates color, from white and pastel colors on the left, to its saturated colors on the right side. I will now go through each of the themes individually. The natural theme is bright and full of contrast of light and shadow to create some liveliness. It plays with warm and cold white light combinations and some additional pastel tones. The happy theme is also bright it uses more vivid colors, which are softened by the large contribution of the general white light. There's also play with contrast of both light and shadow and color. Calm is medium bright and uses a minimum of contrast in favor of soft diffused light. It uses soft pastel tones. The cozy theme is dim, with a soft contrast by pools of light in a dark surrounding. It uses pastel to saturated, warm tones. And imaginative is dim to medium bright, and it uses a sharp contrast by silhouetting for a more dramatic effect, and it has more saturated colors. Let's now talk color. It's easy to go crazy with colored lighting. The point is how to use it, that it makes us feel good. Here are basic color principles when building up a scene. Use colors and tones in combination with white light. When building up a light scene, start from the white general lighting and then add colored lighting. And use colored light as a decorative element, light to look at and not to be in. With so many light points in a room and the possibility to make any color, we can use the additive color wheel, which you see here, as a basic design tool to help us choose and understand how colors interact with each other. For example, all warm colors combine well together and all cool colors combine well together. And for a harmonious effect, use colors next to each other on the color wheel. This is called analogous. The more neighbor colors are combined, the more outspoken the color harmony will be. And you can use this to create a lively and uplifting scene, like in the happy theme, or to be expressive, as we want in imaginative. To make an accent in an analog harmony, or to play with color contrast, use a color on the upper side of the wheel, and in this way you automatically get also warm cold contrast. If you want to make a combination of your favorite colors outside this color harmony theory, make sure to stick to two main colors. The concept will be more solid, and here you see some examples. Make sure you do take the following two basic principles into account when working with saturated colored light. For a more sophisticated result, combine saturated colors with less saturated pastel colors and or whites. And pay attention to proportions when combining colors. Saturated colors are good for accent colors in combination with less saturated dominant colors. Let's see how we can apply the color theory to make atmospheres. I will go through them one by one. The natural theme is about white light combinations and we can use a monochrome color harmony, just one tone, 
which is softened by the brightness of the white light. The happy team here uses all warm colors together with a lot of brightness and white light which can be in contrast more cold. The pink and the green which you see on the both ends of the range create a lively yet balanced color contrast when used of course in the right proportion. Here the calm theme uses a complementary color harmony in soft diffuse pastel colors to create a balanced color and warm cold contrast. Both cozy and imaginative have an analog color harmony with pastel to saturated colors and low brightness. We can use more saturated colors because the light is more dim. You see cozy has only warm tones whereas imaginative uses a combination of both warm and cool tones. Now we move over to light in space, how we can make atmospheres by playing with a combination of light effects and a distribution in the space. In the toolbox of the lighting designer, there's a design palette of seven basic light effects, which you see here. Diffuse light, directional, light objects, projected light with a distinct shape, color patterns including gradients, light and shadow patterns, and brilliance or sparking light effect. These light effects can be combined in a space to achieve a layered composition of general, accent and decorative lighting. It's a designer that gives form and meaning to the light effects by making decisions in the creative process about the characteristics of these light effects. You see them here summed up in three clusters. First, what's the shape of the light effect? Is it a pool, scallop? Is it linear or spotlight? What's the size and amount and is there a repetition of the effect? Then the placement in a space. Is it on a high or low level? What's the orientation of the light? Is it upwards, downwards, multidirectional? horizontal, vertical, and what does it light up? And then, how bright is the light? Do we want to use direct or indirect lighting? Do we use visible or invisible luminaires? And what are the materials and finishes interacting with the light? Depending on the creative interpretation of the designer to express his concept, some light effects can function as accent, general, or decorative lighting. So these three light effects can be used to make general lighting. The sketches below show different ways to do that. The aim is to make diffuse shadowless illumination with an even spread of light throughout the room in good balance with the accent lighting. These five light effects can be used for accent lighting. Again, the sketches below show some examples of the many ways to do so. Accent lighting is to highlight, grab your attention and to create zones and contrast. And these four effects can be used for decorative lighting. To give the finishing touch with color, patterns, sparkle and or dynamics. It's the layering of the three kinds of lighting that makes a light experience interesting in a space and also pleasant. We can play with the importance of one layer compared to the other as a tool to enhance atmosphere. Now we can bring all the principles of color and space together to express moods with lighting. The drawings communicate the basic ideas. For both the natural, happy and calm atmosphere, we want to have a spacious feel. We achieve this by light spread out in the room and lighting up ceilings and or walls. The importance of the positioning is illustrated in the cozy and imaginative theme. To make the space feel more intimate, we use local and low positioned lighting. For the calm team, to make the space feel more pure, we want to give more importance to the general soft diffuse lighting in combination with some basic lighting accents. For the happy and imaginative theme, 
we want the space to feel more exciting, more rich, lively and, and or inspirational. Therefore we give importance to decorative lighting and use more different light effects. We have now arrived at the third building block, dynamic light and the influence on atmosphere. Dynamic lighting can be done in many ways. We have to consider what is changing, where, on which light instrument, how and when. Sometimes we want dynamic lighting to be subtle and only on one luminaire, and for a more impactful effect, dynamics can be applied on several instruments and be really orchestrated in the space over a longer period. There are general principles to consider. It's better not to use noticeable dynamic effect in the general functional lighting. The decorative light can be more dynamic. A change in brightness should be done with care because our eye is very sensitive for this. Change in color can be more quick. And apply dynamics carefully when we lit a larger area. Let's look at our themes again, illustrated with inspirational pictures and drawings. Dynamics play an important role to enrich the natural atmosphere. It plays with slow, unnoticeable circadian changes in the general lighting and occasional dynamic light patterns like on the image. This effect can happen once in a while, as if the sun is breaking through. The dynamic effects in the happy theme play with surprising, noticeable and lively changes of color gradients and sparkle. It can be an element of fun and surprise. In calm, we play with slow and smooth transitions of color gradients on one single light instrument for a natural calming and subtle effect. Cozy plays with smooth color transitions of diffused colored light combined with subtle flickering effects. It refers to the dynamic behavior of natural light effects such as the sunset, candle lights and a fireplace. Imaginative can have a more orchestrated approach to dynamics, for example slow transitions of diffused colored light moving in, spray in space across more instruments. That's it for this light bite. I hope it has given you new insights and inspiration for your own projects. And if you have enjoyed it, I would also like to refer to other existing webinars from Mike Simpson on creative lighting design and the one from Michael Paulin. Thank you for your time and goodbye.